All right, let's get this thing up and rolling. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it started. We about a minute left, a minute late. All right, let me make sure I got the ancestor list up. Okay, everything is up. So let's do it. Well, I guess that need to happen first, right? Let's start it. Get your water. Come on now. Get your glass. Come mm-hmm. on, folks. Get your got a glass. Come on. Drink your water. Come on. Come on. Get it. Come on. Drink your water. Drink your glass and drink your water. family all right let me make sure everybody is up oh spruik is up so i'm sorry for the oh but i needed y'all to have an echo because uh i don't think it's fair that i do the 
the drink, 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 and I don't do the drink, drink, drink on the speaker station, so I got to make sure I'm going to have to stand the echo for that. So, But first, I need to let you know you are now listening to Giami Journey. Of course, you know this is a heart of a simple production, and right now we are on a daily toast. Well, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Mm. All right, so last night we had a show. Um, folk Tales for Grown Folks, we talked about uh, a story called, well, we did a lot of reading from Mr. Amos Wilson, but we also talked about the story that was titled The, the Birds, the Beast, and the Bat. And it basically describe the individual that could not decide on whose side they were going to be on. And it comes a certain time in, 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 in each life, in each people's lives, where sides need to be taken. And the bat just couldn't make that decision. So the bat got with whoever he thought was going to win, but the bat never took into account that people was really watching and paying attention and looking at his traitorous behavior and was planning to make him suffer for it. Mm. Great story. Great story. I mean, go so many different directions with that one. I mean, because we got that going on right now. Don't we? I ain't black. We all the same. Right? We, you know, I don't see color. Right? You know, we got all that. We got all that shit, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Some of y'all some of y'all don't know it, but some of y'all the bat. And what happened to the bat? The bat wasn't allowed to show his face in daylight again without being consumed by either bird or beast. So the, in, in, in trying to have all the friends, it ended up having no friends. In trying to have all the allies, it ended up having no allies. Hmm. Kind of sound like some of our situations right now, family. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like we try to have all the allies, you know. Everybody want to jump on board, you know. Civil rights is for everybody. See, I mean, think about this. Even though it's called the civil rights movement, was it not primarily done for you? Were you not the major, were you not supposed to be the major recipient? I mean, we, I mean, because really, we got to think about this. Who was supposed to be the major recipient of this, this whole so-called civil rights movement? But everybody else is jumping in front of you or jumping on and sharing your resources. And because we weren't very clear about the struggle, because we're not calling it what it is, the black struggle, right? It was a black struggle, right? Yeah, we had allies. But that does not mean that they should get 50% of the booty after the war. No. No, they don't do where they do that at. You know what I'm saying? What country they do that at? So I go on and, and jump in to fight at the last minute and walk away with a half of half the half of the treasure after you've been struggling five generations to get free. That shit is unacceptable. Everybody is making a come up off of our struggle, but us, but us. And people actually try to make you feel bad for standing up and being like, oh man, that's some bullshit. Nah, we ain't going for that shit. Nah, oh, but civil, it's for everybody. No, get your own motherfucking struggle. How about that? Get your own battle. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't got, I don't got time for the Me Too's. I don't got time for all the other shit that y'all going through. Black folks getting their ass kicked. Black folks are old, and I'm saying we need to get it. And family, by us trying to satisfy everybody, we're going to end up with nobody and nothing. Nobody has to like us. That's not, liking us has never, actually, America don't like China. America don't like Russia, but them motherfuckers get along, don't they? They do what they have to do. They sit down at the table and have discussions, do they not? 
you know what I'm saying? You negotiate with me, negotiate with me. You giving me what I need. You getting me and getting what I need before I tear this motherfucker up has nothing to do with you liking me. We got negotiation all backwards. You know what I'm saying? When you negotiate, you negotiate with your power on the table, family. You know what I'm saying? If you do this, we could do that. If you do this, we could do that. Better yet, we'll do this first. And then once we got an understanding, we can have a discussion. Because this is how they negotiate. They, if you can, if you can make it to the table, they're going to negotiate with you. But they're going to put a whole lot of obstacles for you to make it to the table. Period. That's, 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 how, you, that's how you negotiate. I make a whole lot of obstacles to stop you from getting to the table. Because if you can't get to the table, then you're not worthy for me to have negotiations with. But hey, that's just brother I tell. And that's just a small perspective. But I want to great say a great Ujima to each and every last one of y'all. Um, shouts out to brother Kwame. <laughs> We made it, family. We on that Ujima. Unfortunately, I got to cancel one meet today because I got another meeting today. Um, I need to send out um, a notice for the nation builder meeting. Um, so I arranged it. At, it's going to be at the Millennial Community School. Um, for those brothers, I mean, most of them brothers never watch my stuff anyway. And that's something. Man, man, I ain't gonna go into that. But hey, so let's go. Let's go and talk a little bit about the day. There's Ujima. Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. Collective work and responsibility. And Jeremy, you know I mean? going through the number system, we say that the number one is interdependence. And for me, um, Ujima is about practicing interdependence, not independent, not independence, but interdependence, where all the pieces fit together to make the entire people work. Each of us are like a cog in a machine. Each of us is like a cell of a body, and 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 we we do our part to make sure that the people work. Um, as men, um, tribe building and nation building should be at the forefront of our minds because only as a group can we protect what is ours. Give the time and day for our meeting, not the day, but the date and the time. Um, 118 at 6 p.m. 118 at 6 p.m. But most of the people at the meeting know the language. I think they should. They should know the language. So it's Ujima tomorrow at 6 p.m. The Millennium Community School. Come in, ask for Brother High Tim. And I got you straight. I'll get you together. All right. So um so we're talking about Ujima, no, yeah, Ujima, collect the work and responsibility for those that don't speak the language. And once again, that goes back to the whole interdependence thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and of course, you know, like all of the principles work in each principle. So if any one of the principles is working, the system doesn't work. The system is interdependent. It needs all of the other parts in order to run. So today is collect the work and responsibility. The modic principle of the day is righteousness. And in order for us to work together, and you know what I'm saying, there has to be some standard, some form of um, righteousness that we, you know, uh, that's agreed upon, that has been set by our elders and our ancestors. You know what I'm saying? I did a, um, I did a blog post last night talking about belonging to a conscious community. And, you know, 
subtitle is Driving Up. You know, you should check it out. Um, it's available on uh, um, Giammi Journey. Just go to GiammiJourney.com and my, my books and everything will pop up. All right. So um, the M7 principle today is respect. Right? So, I mean, really, I mean, think about that. I mean, all these R's, righteousness, responsibility, respect, all these fall up on this, up under this collective work day. How... How can we talk about collective work and responsibility and not really get a true understanding or have a true discussion about respect? And and I think part of the problem for, for some of us, we have not had the, 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 the meeting and the bonding time so that we can actually understand some of these terms, right? Because I say respect and everybody think that we are thinking about the same thing, but that word that word has not been discussed by us, nor has it been agreed upon. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had it. We haven't had those discussions about these key words that we all think that we know, I mean, that we know we need to move to the next level, but we haven't had the meeting. We haven't had to sit down. We haven't had the training, and we aren't training our young people so that when they say we see, because I don't want Cleveland to have a problem when he run into somebody else and he, he is 50 years old and he say respect and the two of their minds go to two, two different things, right? We have to be working interdependently. We have to be working collectively. And in order to work collectively, we got to have collective definitions, collective ideas and ideas that are being generated that are new ideas that's being generate generated up out of the collective i am a reflection of my people i am a cell within the total scheme of my people and presently my people are present right here in columbus so i belong uniquely to this group i could fit into any group you know you could take this cell and, and transplant it anywhere, right? But I am specifically and have been reared up and designed for this community here. I need y'all to understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, and, 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 and if I don't get this together, and this is where I'm at, if I don't get this together, I am condemning my children to a hellish existence. Let me say that again. If I don't get this together now, I'm condemning my children to a hellish existence. Now, I don't know how you feel about it, but let me speak to you about how I feel about that shit. That is unrighteous. That is not responsible. That's me playing the back. I couldn't decide on the side I was going to fight on, right? Asshole. Uh, they just closed Columbus City Schools. Again? Kwame, is that true? Somebody playing on my goddamn phone. Is it that cold out there? They just closed Columbus City Schools again. The building will be open again for those who need to work. Hey, I always need to work. I'm a nation builder. You know what I'm saying? But family, but they, see, but this is wintertime, and this is what's good about this. Now, let me tell you, this is what's good about this, right? I can open up the lines, one, two, but what's really good about this is that it's killing all of those damn bugs, and we are going to be able to go camping. Kwame, you going to come? Kwame, are you going to come out and sit in the woods with us for a little while, my friend? Because we're going to have a, a community-wide camping trip. We're going to get some camping grounds close enough to Columbus where we are going to be able to invite everybody out, right? It's going to be a celebration. I'm going to I'm gonna have to break out. I'm going to have to break some money off because Cleve is going to be going through his, his rights. You know what I'm saying? 
This is going to be sometime in the summertime. Now, it's going to be two of them. Um, we're going to do one, and then we're going to um, um, we're going to try but with, with our Native American um, family. And, and they gonna have they have what they call an umblacher. So we're gonna do one umblacher with us. We're gonna do the umblacher with them because with them, the sweat lodge and all that is there. But hey, we're going camping this summer. This is gonna be one of the things that we're working on as a collector because the PC is. I want to do a uh, 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 young people like camp as well. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, nation builder, elders, nation builders, warriors, warriors working directly with the young people, boom, boom, boom. But I want to have a family camping trip. I want all those that have invested time in our community. I want us to go out to the woods and chill. There are woods close enough with camping grounds big enough for us to get a couple of hundred people out there if we was able. We don't even got that many dedicated people, though. But we can do it. I just need y'all to understand that. We can do it. We got equipment. Family, we have equipment for at least 80 people. And I know some of y'all got equipment. We got cooking. We got cooking stuff. We got tents. We got, and, and we we can make it happen, right? And then on top of that, let's say, let's say we have one out in the woods and we do one right behind Millennium Community School. Now we want to have security for that one though. So that we, we have to go out to the woods first to train the security, you know what I'm saying? Got to have security. Cause even the deer is jacking motherfuckers out here in, in, in Columbus. Mr. Vita said, I love camping. Um, Brother Kwame say, yes, I plan to attend. I need to commune with the outdoors at some point. Let me know. I'm gonna keep the whole, I'm keeping the whole world informed. Shit, this is what I do. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just shit. I'm with this show. I'm a step away from self snitching, you know. All right. So then, close Columbus Public Schools again. All right. So the Hermetic Law of the Day is uh, vibration. Male name is Kwaku, female name Akua. <clears throat> From the emotional emancipation circles, African center culture of virtue and value system, the principle of the day from Warloff is your politeness and respect, partic particularly towards elders. No, my fault. It says particularly towards your elders. And the family, once again, we're going to have to sit down and have this uncomfortable talk about our principal system. Yes. Yes. We're going to have to have that uncomfortable private talk about our principal system because i see a lot of y'all wasting a lot of energy um talking about the principles and living the principles right with motherfuckers that don't live them with you the principles start at home and then they expand outwards let me say it again they start at home then they expand outwards all right um Bro, you almost forgot to let us know about our nation building meeting, but we love you, bro. Keep doing what you <laughs> get you, man. I told you I was gonna text you. I'm texting, man. You know, that's top secret information. You just had me going, like I said, dry snitch. I'm snitching on myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, in a con today, uh, the virtues are obedience and respect. Um, in Yoruba, traditional Yoruba, it's a luti, teachability, which, which many of us lack, teachability, teachability, teachability requires humbleness, humbleness, be humble, sit down, be humble, sit down, all right, here we go, um, so I got to I got to add it to the list because some people um, some people have turned in some new ancestors. I went through the list as close as I could to make sure that um, these ancestors weren't already on the list. But um, what I'm going to have to start doing is grouping them 
I'm gonna start grouping them according to who who said it because one, um, I think I think it might be a little bit. Even though our ancestors know, I I think it's kind of uh, I think it's kind of uh, powerful to let your ancestors know that it's you. You know, so I'm gonna start saying the people's names. With where is my responses at? <gasps> Oh, computer, stop playing. Now, computer is playing. Stop playing. We got edited. I edited this damn thing last night. What is they talking about? Maybe I was dreaming. You know, sometimes you dream and, and actually be thinking you do shit and then wait. I, no, but I know my fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. My I feel pain. You know? All right, so I got them written down anyway. So we're going to do our libations. Actually, we're going to make our toast. Oh, Kwame, when do you want your uh, next bottle? Because uh, you said you want dandelion root. And burdock root, along with black seed and ginseng. Man, dog, that sounds like the immortality drink. You know, I'm gonna get me some of that before I pass that on to you. I'm just letting you know, I ain't thought about that, but that right there, I'm calling that the super death eater. The super death eater. That's gonna be the super the death eater supreme. We matter of fact, we're gonna call that the master killer. Cause if you got some shit floating around your body after that, you know what I'm saying? You in trouble. Right? Here we go. First, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call a creator. It will be next month sometimes, as I am only about halfway through my current bar. Okay. And damn is good. Oh. But it's gonna start with I'm listen, has yours matured or you keeping it in the refrigerator? Because I keep mine out. And man, <clears throat> it has a little a little kick on it, right? It gets rough. So right now, if you got it in the refrigerator, you're going right through the super sweet phase. But always remember where they're sweet. Hmm. Up, oh, I got PayPal orders popping up. I don't remember buying nothing on PayPal. Okay, all right, I did buy that. All right, just checking, you know. All right, so call no creator by whatever name, yeah, keep it in the fridge. Unless, I mean, because like it, 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 it's still, it's still brewing, but it's brewing very slowly. But I keep my eyes out because I kind of like to see the changes that it goes through, you know what I'm saying. The ambrosia is a metaphor for our lives, you know. You go through the super sweet period, and the sweetness stretches out, and then the sweetness become that mellow in between right before. Then it goes into the strong taste. I mean, that's love. You know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, you get through the sweet period, you had a struggle, and then, you know what I'm saying? It's a, um, uh, you, have to, you have to really hang in there. Like this one right here. Nice and mature. And it's gonna clear me out. It's gonna man, but hold on. So we call the creator by our name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute that creator. We salute that creative energy. We salute the first ancestor. And we say, I say, from their family, we move on to the marvelous list that we have formed working together, putting our ancestors on a list. Um calling them together, all right? So we lift up our glass. We call on Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert the Tech Center, David. School is closed, Clay. It is? Yeah, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Christopher Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Walsh Ellis, Cecil Ellis. Uh, Kwame, I'm going to stop too. Um, um, 
I'm sorry. Jerry Doyle. Gotta add. And then there's one more that you had. You had Jerry Doyle. And you had um somebody else. I want to make sure I get them in the book. So put I got Jerry Doyle. Put down um the other name, please. So we are at Avara Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown, second, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis, Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillar, Montague Pittman, L. I'm starting my car, too. You going out to start the car? Yeah. Start my car, too. Okay. Uh, I just want my car to warm up. Can I have my car warm up, please? Um, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillar, Montague Pittman, L. Um, Brian Watson Jr., uh, Kaneko Parsons, No More X, Pet My Ron, Malika Fakura, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Bro Pro Actor Jr., Jay Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling. And Lucy Wright, Derek and Derek L. Pulley and the Luxor Brothers, Miss Ethan Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford Jr. No, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray. Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Ware, Levita Farmer, Argosa Sue, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson, Hammonds, Jarrell Giles, Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Parsons, Sergio Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, May Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kendi, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Marie Chavez, Leon Grace, or Leon Gross, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, May Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, Elder Amitette Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Rustin Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carlos Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. Now here go the new part of the list. The other name is Amina Robinson. All right, from Brother Anubis, he added Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary, Rosemary Charles, Sister Tiandra, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., um, uh, royalty to add Jennifer Sensenball, 
um, my sister Hazel Gadsden, Jerry Bradley, um, sister Aisha, Stacy, Stacy Trice, Frank, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Mike, Mike, my call, Michael Leonard, it is Michael or Mike, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Miss Ford, Ruth Carter, Jane Cox, June Cox, Ruth and Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson. Um, Miss Dr. D put Dan Wilkinson Sr. Um, Sister Jackie put Emma, Emma McClendon. What? Oh, Jerry, and of course, uh, Brother Kwame put Jerry Doyle and Amina Robinson. I will go in and add those two. So we got those. Uh, you, why well, you couldn't hang them up? All right, so we lift up our glass to our ancestors. We say, I shave from their family, move on to our, um, from our past to our present. We lift up our glass to the present moment, present time. We spoke about that we are in the moment of Ujima, the moment of Ujima family, which means we need to start, you know, I mean, because like I said, on my article, I was talking specifically about Columbus, but it could be used for anybody in my books. I specifically talk about what we was trying to do in Columbus, and, you know, specifically here and, and what we're doing in certain ways and in certain pockets. But the the key piece is that we have to come to a table. We have to start forming. We have to start tribing up. It's imperative. It's imperative that we start tribing up. So we can start getting the young people that's coming up under our tutelage. We can start getting their minds right. All right? So we lift up the glass for this present moment. In this time of Ujima, this time of righteousness, this time of a collective work of responsibility. You know what I'm saying? This time. It's our time. We lift up our glass and we say, I say, from their family, we move to our future generation, our children, our children's children on to infinity. Right, so we toast our children. We toast because we're responsible for the next seven generations, and we lift up the glass and we say, "What?" We say, "I say." From their family, move to all of our relations. Toast them. I toast you, and we say, "I say, I say, say." I wish you peace, power, joy, and one hundred years. Malcolm X celebration on May nineteenth, twenty eighteen. Save the date. We'll be at the Millennial Community School. Get with us. We're gonna have to do some fundraising. We're gonna have to get, we we'll have to get that a little bit. We're gonna have to get that organized. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we on it. We on it. All right. So we lift up the glass and we say, "I say, I say, I say." Nice and strong, but not still, still tastes a little bit of that sweet up in there. All the honey is not. I, well, I added some green tea and honey. But I got another, got another four or five gallons brewing. Yep. That's how we do it at GMA. All right. Let's go and share a little bit more. Since let's go into unknown territory, because I don't know where my where the, where this elder is going. This answer says. Masculine self de definitions as a social definition. A man's self definition is always, on some level, a social definition. Manhood definition is a set of social attitudes. No matter how you play it, men, you still are defining yourself socially. If you decide you are going to withdraw from everything and be totally to yourself and uninvolved, what would happen to the race if every man or a large percentage of males decided that this is what manhood means, withdrawal and uninvolvement? So if you define it that way, it's still a social definition. It still has social consequences and so forth. You can't get away from social consequences of self-definition. There's no total individual man. Man is social, not totally unique and personal. 
We cannot let socially unconscious men flourish among. Ooh. We cannot let socially unconscious men flourish among us. That's why you got to train these boys. Another question you want to look at when you read this book is what happens to guys who don't make it? Many times, some of the kids don't make it, but there's a wisdom there. If being a man is to produce, to economically advance the group and so forth, and you do not qualify, then you are going to be a consumer. To be, to a great extent, this black community is being raped and robbed. To a great extent, this black on black violence is largely perpetrated by men with a consumer mentality. I need a BMW. So I got a, I got, I got a right to kill you. I won't go teach, so I got a right to sell poison to your children. I want this. I want that. Therefore, I can kill you, mug you, hurt you. I can do anything I want to consume or consume you. Mm, I put that. Oh, man, he's a big dude. Why? Because he can't consume. He eats a lot. He buys a lot of junk. That is what we call in sociology conspicuous 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 consumption is not only that you must buy but you but what you buy must be seen it must be conspicuous 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 consumption my fault conspicuous so when you're riding around in a bmw bmw people know right away you must be somebody big it takes too long to explain if you're not dressed right in fact they may not even listen to you at that point. So you want to get your point over immediately. The sister just jumped right in then. If you're riding around in a jalopy, you've got to explain yourself. What are we saying here then? We can't have a race of male consumers. This is part of our problem right here in this African group. Men whose primary drive is consumption. They don't care how it's made, who makes it, just let me get it. The Japanese try to get um, through to you and tell you the truth. Give me an apology. We demand it instead of mulling over how do you make these doggone things since our kids buy so many of them. If I can make it, then I could sell, sell it to them myself or provide them with it and consequently, they won't have to go out and kill, knock people in the head to get it. No, we don't want that. We are so busy reaching to, reach, reacting to insult, insults. That's the problem with the, with the neurotic. They have misplaced pride. They get upset over the wrong things. It's foolish for people to buy all these radios and all this garbage and not become producers themselves. Other men have a right to question your manhood, peoplehood, and sanity when you do that. What kind of crazy people hand Koreans and other people thousands and thousands of dollars while their children go hungry in the streets. Dare they call themselves people? It doesn't make any sense. They tell you to your face, and because you don't want to accept truth, you want to holler about them. Goddamn. Amos Wilson. Amos Wilson. Salud. You know what I'm saying? As they say, as we say, a hundred years. You know what I'm saying? Lifting up the glass to that honor our ancestors. Because that shit right there, if that's not true, family, we, you know what I'm saying? As men, right? We become in, interdependent, which means that we are able in some form of fashion to provide everything that our people need. As men, that's, that's true. Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. Collective work. When you work, you produce something. And we are becoming consumers. We are we we have not even becoming. We are mass consumers. Everything that we produce. I mean, everything everything around us. Very few of it we produce. This is one of the reasons I keep on. I, I keep doing this. I keep doing. I, I keep on showing y'all this ambrosia because this is something. We can produce whether you buying it from me or not. At least you could give your child an idea of what it feels like to be able to produce their own stuff. Let me tell you what's even deeper about the ambrosia, right? I could take my son to the woods 
And we could find that line root. Or we could learn to identify any other plant. And as long as I could make a tea from it, I could teach a, a, a SCOBY how to produce the, 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 um, produce the ambrosia. All I need is the raw honey. Now, so now what's the next step? Well, Cleve at one point in time said he wanted to be a farmer. Cleve said he wanted to get beehives. But if Cleve don't want it, somebody else out there is like, damn, I know it's somebody that looked like me that I could trade with and get some honey so that this, I could say this is totally 100% made by us. Right. And then I'm going to be able to find me a glass maker, or a bottle maker. And I could be like, this is 100 percent us. Then I could find somebody with the tops and be like this. Now it's totally 100 percent us as men. We need to be developing, developing entrepreneurs and developing. And like I said, this is this is why we have to seriously sit down and talk about tapping into a need that our people have and get a dedicate, dedicated group to only purchase that from us. Like I said, with, with the, I mean, because I, I call it, I call it uh, the, 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 the ash protocols. You know what I'm saying? Ash. We all suffer from ash. There's no reason that we need to be running to these other people to provide us with ash protection when nature does it right uh i need you to give me a small bottle to take to my job a co-worker wife buy it from the store i will have some dang i'm still thinking i'm in last weekend i'm i probably have some i, I won't have none until next week let's just put it that way because i gotta let it breathe if i don't let it breathe you'll take it to your co-worker and they'll come back and be like, that bottle blew up. <laughs> this is some real shit, right? But I got you. So family, you know what I'm saying? We have to get into the mind state and get our young men and, and, and not being sexist and young women in the mind state that we have to become. Let me say it again. We have to become producers our strive we have to strive they got to be hungry enough and bold enough to be like look i'm moving towards producing something to 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 because when you produce you know what i'm saying you are able to provide jobs or or supposedly but like in america the hustle is well i'm gonna price you out the market you know what i'm saying so we have to be able to you know make it affordable enough so our people can get it or at least our people understand if they have to pay a high enough price, why are they paying a high enough price? You know what I'm saying? Because it only take it only takes a critical mass of us. That's what's incredible. It only takes it don't takes all of us. It only takes a critical mass. This is why I don't be getting mad about the shows. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing this for years. It only takes a critical mass. It only takes one or two individuals to be like boom. Like you get somebody like, I mean, like, for example, we've been doing for a long time, we've been doing events and like one or two, two, three people show up. You know what I'm saying? To be to get involved and put out a flyer and show something. I got standing room only. The fuck? It only takes, it only takes one right person in the right place. You know what I'm saying? It only takes one. And all of us, we have to really evaluate our tools and really understand and really start learning how to use this social network, these social networks, and eventually get our kids to build one, a private one, where when I'm talking uh, about nation builder meetings, I'm not self-snitching, okay? You know what I'm saying? We need to have these, we need to master this and People need to understand the power of you sharing, the power of you liking, the power of you throwing up the thumbs wherever you are, because what starts to happen is a logarithm starts to build around our stuff. And, and when people of a similar mind pops up on the screen, 
rather than the uh the world world star bullshit popping up this our stuff will pop up you know what i'm saying davida you said you got a show coming out soon too right you got a name for it you know what i'm saying and like i said what help do you need because i've been doing this right so um because like right now we are on instagram it's about to go off on instagram i'm on youtube i'm on um i'm i'm podcasting and i'm on um facebook you know what i'm saying so it's like boom you know if you want to do a new show hey we can set it up actually actually if you want to pre-record it right it's some it's some software out here that's i mean it's affordable and it's the bomb that we could use on just our cell phones and produce some quality stuff. We could see because one of the things I want to do, I know a lot of my people listen. I want to do, I want to do a nation builder based soap opera with all the drama that we go through. But I want to paint the picture for where we're moving in the world. I want to put that on everybody's idea. I would love to have a nation. I ain't talk about the dope dealing, none of that shit. They, they got enough of that. Before the toast, I listened to, oh, what, what was he talking about? You know what I'm saying? And so if he did the show before, I mean, so, all right, so I got to reach out and see what's going on because I ain't seen him in a couple of days. A matter of fact, he didn't get on the show last night. So, man, um, the piece that I'm saying is, we could do, I mean, we could do some shit. Cause check this out, man. My wife is in love with these novellas. Though, you know what I'm saying? It's like these little cheap ass, you know, these little cheap ass Mexican soap operas, all the drama we got going on in our community. You mean to tell me we can't we can't produce that drama and direct it and make some money? All of the fuckery that goes on around us. Man, we ought to be rich. We got material for we got material for days. You know what I'm saying? And then you throw in a revolutionary message. You throw in the 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 the, the, the change agent. That's some powerful shit, family. That's some sellable shit. And we ain't have to sell it. We just put it up on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Spoke on the relationship of something like that with his daughter and his goals. Oh yeah, because he's supposed to be coming up here, so. Might have to go to court, so y'all might have to be coming to get me out of jail. Just saying. I have to support my brother. Y'all, you know, um, I, I have a little something on the side for bail money and get you back. But, you know, because he's liable to go down there and say anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, one, thing, one thing about him is he, he, he ain't scared of them goddamn courts. I'll be like, I'll be like, God damn. Where the motherfucking sheriff at? Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to get up out this motherfucker then. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, yo, family, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure chilling with y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you, I mean, like I said, the call-in lines is open. It's nothing. Also spoke on his relationship with his son and the show he's doing with him. And I got to I gotta see what that is because, I mean, when I get the invites, I'll be at work, so I can't really see those. So I try to do my stuff early enough where people can't be like, man, I was at work. I don't want to hear that. I'm trying to hear that shit. I ain't got time for that shit. I'm on all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm on a new cable network. Goddamn, it's called the internet. You catch me anytime. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I, we really, I mean, what y'all think about that whole soap opera piece that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if we, we would call it a soap opera because we as soap ain't advertising. But the drama, the comedy, the pain of what goes on in a conscious community. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we got enough. It's enough sex. It's enough violence. It's enough craziness going on to keep everybody locked in. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? And then we just kind of move it up into the future a little bit to where it's like you got tribes beefing with each other. So, you know, instead of just then, you got whole tribes 
beefing with each other. You know what I'm saying? Not really getting along the way they supposed to get along. But every now and then, you know what I'm saying, the real enemy rears his head and everybody see motherfuckers come together. And then right after they get rid of the enemy, they see people going right back to the way they were. Right? Then you can, you know, a sitcom of sorts. With a, yeah. Yeah. You know, well, not a situation comedy. I mean, I guess it could be a comedy, but I want my shit. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want motherfuckers laughing at this. I want motherfuckers looking at this like, I wonder what's gonna happen next week. I want, I, I wonder who she gonna hook up with next week. I wonder if such and such is gonna die. I wonder if Pookie getting out of jail. And man, it's going down when Pookie get out of jail because he was he was unjustly arrested, and the police that did it they bought the pay. Type shit like that. Learn to know what not to model my life after by watching those novellas from the time I was child. Hey man, listen, I wouldn't even watch that. Man, listen, if I had to stay home from school and I had to stay with my grandma's, man, I. That was one of the major reasons I never got. I, I I I don't even remember. I never got suspended. It's your world on on the Tom Joyner Tom Joyner show. Yeah, like it's like it's your world, but except except it got the the whole the whole conscious organizing piece. You know what I'm saying? Where in a sense we got tribes. And families that actually are in positions of production and in positions of power and dealing with actual issues of being in that. Because I honestly believe that if we want to be, if we want the conscious community to be on that level, we have to start modeling, even if we're just acting it out. You know what I'm saying? We have to make sure people, we have to let people see that is that it is possible. Even if in story first, which oftentimes is how shit happens in the real world anyway, in story first. And I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's just voices or whether it's actual acting on on um on on uh on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because we got more and we got enough people with houses, we got people with nice houses, we got people with messed up houses, we got individuals with nice cars, we got individuals with messed up cars like myself. You know what I'm saying? We got we got all we got people with locks, we got people with afros, we got people with natural hair. We can show the image that we want to see. We can show people having the type of arguments that we need to have. We can show people being called. Check this out. Check this one out. You can show people falling out to a point where they're about to murder each other. And and an elder can be like, look, I'm setting up a meeting. And they can be like, I'm, 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 but I'm not, you know, fuck that, blah, blah, blah. But at meeting time, guess where they at? Sitting at the table in, in total respect, looking good. Like, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 sir. You know, you know, boom. You know, I'm just showing that type of shit. Because until we show it, you know what I'm saying? The kids will never get it. You know what I'm saying? Where where the kids see that 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 in the family, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's a shame to go work for somebody else. I mean, I mean, just think about that shit. You have three sons, and one of the sons has been in a sense disowned because he chose to go work for McDonald's or some shit like that. How the fuck you gonna go work for McDonald's? And we got. We got this ambrosia business. We 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 making clothes. We got we got the production studios and and and, and we're we're doing all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? We got Black Panthers and the many trials and tribulations of building and main exactly. That shit hard. Now you we need to let motherfuckers know this is hard. This is a challenge. And you know what that attract, Kwame? And Navita, you know what that attract? That attract young people. Because now they'll look at it and be like, damn, y'all doing something over there. We got McDonald's coming. <laughs> How you gonna work for McDonald's when we got McDonald's? You know what I'm saying? We got you know, how you gonna work for the enemy? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, man, and and, and, and when we run out of stuff, we can structure it on some of these folk tales. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? All we gotta do is put people in, take the animals out. Shit. That's because that's exactly what it is. 
straight drama all the motherfucking time. I got 28 seconds remaining on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I might take her over there. Uh, or my mom, because they got to, I think they go north. Uh, I, I don't know, because we ain't got school today. I ain't gonna say she's not going. I mean, I, I like her to travel. Um, so family, you know what I'm saying? Peace out, Instagram. But um, good riddance. How about the good riddance, Instagram? Now I can talk for real. I, I've been holding back. Been holding back. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Um, but yeah, that might be an idea for a quick skit for Malcolm. For them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, ooh, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just something. You know, I, it's like, yo, but you know what I mean? Because we got writers. I'm, and then on top of that, you know what you know what that fit in? That fit into Amos Wilson's idea of manhood. Because we're producing something. Let me say that again. We're producing something. And what's beautiful about the music now was beautiful about the stage art now was beautiful about the TV shows or the shit that we put on YouTube right now we can control that from the beginning to the end you know what I'm saying from the beginning to the end that's that's called production that's you know what I'm saying that's that's where, and if we ain't trying to be all, if we, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if we taking, if we take donations, we making sure that we paying people or we start getting likes on YouTube, we make sure we paying people, we get people to subscribe to what we doing, you know what I'm saying? But they get behind the scenes clips, writing books on this shit, you know what I'm saying? Do you have to be a nation builder through Tawi to sit with Malcolm X? No, Miss Navita, you, no Navita, you ain't got to be uh, nation builder through Tawi to assist with the Malcolm X celebration. I don't think with any of the celebrations, we're going to limit it like that. You understand what I'm saying? Tawi is one village. There might be other villages. We might need to have some negotiations, some peace talks. See what I'm saying? That's drama right there. You know what I'm saying? That should be a show right there. You know what I'm saying? Young woman comes to a new city, or young woman is a nation builder, boom, boom, boom. She needs to get into organization, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? She wants to stay on her own, but, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, script. Got a whole script just flowing through my mind right now. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. But now, Brother Kwame ain't going to need help. So, we're going to step up for you, Brother Kwame. You know what I'm saying? Get stuff together. Um, Elder Tony, I speak on this all the time. One love, family. What? Speak on what all the time? Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. You see how I acted like I know what he's talking about? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. We speak all the time, too. <laughs> Listen, family. Listen. We 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 too far in the struggle for some of the shit. Now, it's, it's certain things that I think people will have to be Tawi connected or Tawi you know, involved. You know what I'm saying? But um, for like rituals and stuff like that. But when it comes to getting the work done for our community, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't believe in you know what I'm saying. That'd be like saying, "Listen, you can't donate if you don't belong to us. We're not taking your money." My ancestor would roll, normal would jump up out the grave and grab me by my goddamn neck, pull me down into the earth with him or towards the ancestral realm. Uh, you know, speak on who belongs to the village and who can do what. Um, so now, this the peach for me, far as the village, right? Now, every village has, every village should have. Now, what is a village? First off, let's because you got to see my because I just wrote on this, right? Every community is based on 
an individual. Individual belongs to family, right? Because we, we as human beings develop groups so that we could be more successful. Uh, an individual human being is, is, is a weak thing in, in the total scheme of nature. So we started forming groups. And what is a, so individual has a family, family has tribes. A group of families come together in a tribe. Tribes um, come together and form, in a sense, communities. Communities come together and form cities. Cities come together and form states. States come together and form nations. Nations come together and rule the world. All right? So, now, as far as belonging to the village, you have people that belong to the village. You have people who have been initiated into said village. You know what I'm saying? So, now, you have people who are involved in the spiritual aspect of the village, in the cultural spiritual connection of the village and that's very important because that helps keep the community culturally stabilized but you have other members of the village that may not be initiated it's sort of like it's sort of like it's almost like having a priesthood you have a priesthood and you have those who don't necessarily belong to the priesthood that participate that's still part of the family you know what i'm saying what we need to come up with is in a sense is there is there ways, what ways are there to be a participant within a village? Outside of just going through initiation, outside of going through the time. What happens when I come to uh, uh, the the pra'ank and I'm giving on a regular basis and I'm coming. I just, I like being around this type of energy, but I don't necessarily want to be initiated into what you have. I, I, I like I like it. I love the, the the camaraderie, but I don't have time or I just don't feel it as of yet. Maybe one day, but not now. There's a level of participation. You know what I'm saying? And 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 in 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 that, this is where members of the village, because this is where I was talking about, this is where members members of the village pay taxes. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We pay taxes, nigga. You pay taxes, you I don't mean, you know shit. Pull up a tape, put pull up a plate. Damn, let's eat. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and to and to a certain extent, in in some cases, not even to a certain extent, you are as a due paying member, you fit up under the protection of the family because this is an important piece that we gotta talk about as men. See, because now if we really want to build up membership, if we really want to grab some of these young boys out here in these streets. Part of the mission that we give them is to protect those members of the village. Because we know we got a lot of sisters out there getting their ass beat. We know we got a lot of brothers out there getting their ass beat. We know we got a lot of young people out here getting bullied. Can we develop a healthy arm of the village that protects who the fuck we are and protect our people? Motherfuckers is gonna pay tax for that. People gonna come. People gonna become initiated because we ain't. We're not just. We're no longer just sitting around talking, being angry. We got us a protection wing. So a sister that runs out and getting a relationship in a fucked up relationship, and and she comes, she speaks to the elders. The elders talk with her, and you know, boom, baby, boom, boom, boom. Do do need to stay away. Do stay away. Do stay away. Because he know. Same thing with a crazy female. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's a whole nother level of conversation. That's going to take a whole nother level of commitment. Because in some cases, some of us going to lay it down. We gonna, we gonna, you going to have to because it's all, you know, just the mind state, the, 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 the neurotic state of our people will cause some of, some, some of them to actually want to test the water. Right? You know what I'm saying? And you test the water, you get drowned. That is why one gets uh, grandfather in at uh, at a time at times, doing all the work and contributing monies, but not initiated. Well, our story is a little bit different because the village formed. The village formed 
around the process that many of us was already going through. You understand what I'm saying? Because we the, the far as your connection in Columbus or my connection in Columbus, the village came up around what you was doing. And it was a disagreement about some of that. You understand what I'm saying? So in, in a sense, you it's called getting grandfathered in, but you was always part of it. You understand what I'm saying? You was just with you was with an elder that was in a sense froze out. I mean, in all truth, you, who we was with was froze out. And so it's like, you know, far as initiation, we have to look at, once again, this is why eldership is important because, because we need, you need to have, like, for example, in Giamme, you are, when you come into Giamme, somebody has to sponsor you in. You need a sponsor, right? In a village, right, it, where you really got, elders who have been out here doing it been doing the work they're gonna know other elders and they're going to be able to like for example we will be able to have a conversation about um somebody that might want to come in and, and and be able to really find out the work that they did and be able to count that work towards the initiation because the initiation just doesn't happen in a ritualistic situation sometimes our ancestors provide the ritual life is one of those reasons I was reserved about the whole thing. Exactly. Dude, listen, man, listen. After, after, after I found out or I caught wind of that shit with Nomo, dude, man, I was I was heartbroken. I, I just stopped. I, I stopped even coming around. I mean, I might have popped up and I, you know what I'm saying? But I I stopped. I said that don't make no sense to me. That don't make no sense to me. You understand what I'm saying? Because I, I mean, you know, um, because like for far as me, I don't know, I don't know necessarily about your depth of uh, involvement outside of no more. But I was part of the training program for the Rise of Passions piece, which uh, which which this shit grew out of. So I was doing the trainings. Hell, when I used to write for the paper, and this is a true story. What I was writing for the paper on Ohio State campus that Mozzie took, and check this out, Mozzie changed Dimension newspaper and called it Black Watch. So we had the Black Watch newspaper flowing around on campus, flowing all over the country with, Mel, with art by Melly Mel, um, um, stories by Greg Carr and myself and, and everybody that was doing it on the campus at that time, right? Boom, going out, right? I walked into a rice of passage training where <laughs> they was using my article. They was using my article. How the fuck you supposed to train me and you using my information? So after that, me and Mazi got involved, and then I became more of a uh, more of a trainer and start doing stuff on on local and in some in some cases a national level type thing but the whole piece that i'm saying is all this shit grew up all that all that came up out of the you was a member of the african center all that shit came up out of the african center for study and worship all that shit even apds owes its genesis to the afrocentric personal development shop and those individuals that was involved with that you know what i'm saying have a footprint and and have elders that they could call on that have seen the work so some people don't need to be necessarily ritually initiated some people have been initiated by life as long as you got people that can back up and vouch for the work that you did sometimes some of that stuff need to be all right cool we just gonna all right we gonna you had you had you had this initiation let's go to the ritual Go to the ritual. Y'all know people speaking up for you. People that we trust. And that's and as elders, we got to be, we got to keep that in mind as we as we, when we approach the eldership piece, that everybody that comes in is not gonna come in the exact same way. 
We had Mav Science Academy called the Sis Sister Patricia Williams Shule that came out of that. Now, see, and see, now this is that one. Was that not an initiation, brother? You understand what I'm saying? Was that was that not was that not a trial by fire? You know what I'm saying? You weren't pretending to 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 be Heru. You 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 manifested Heru and made that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? I did the underground. Got nationally documented. I got a documentary. I got an album from the motherfucking that that that's that's totally that's totally based on on um on the whole Afrocentric model. See, but what I'm saying is it was still a trial by fire because it, it wasn't easy. You had to find support. You had to find a building. You know what I'm saying? When the African Center closed, where did y'all go? Y'all didn't stay out there and do it outside, did you? No, you had to make something happen. It was needed. But in it being needed, that's see, that's called the call of the hero because you have a choice as a hero. You can either take the call or you can reject the call. You took the call. Now, when you look at the path of the hero, the path of the hero is the same path as that of an individual going through rites of passage. You have the call, you have the separation, you have the initiation, you have the, um, the, the uh, with the initiation, the challenge, the death and the rebirth, and then you have the reintroduction to society with your new knowledge and in most cases people came and keep up with you so they don't understand you so you got to go on another adventure or just die in infamy or something like that but that's that's life you know what i'm saying a long time i, I, I float around this this mug as i ended i as i ended will say i, I ended said i for a long time i didn't have peers i just wanted peers and then we popped up you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, his trial was uh, was was even crazy in ours because he was raised in it. You know what I'm saying? He at the age where he was, in many cases, he was by himself where he would have tourists that would come in and go out. He was stuck because the father's always been involved like that. You know, so that's what we had. So in the village, as I put on my thing, you have a council of elders in order to be a council and well at least my idea in order to be a council in order to be on a council of elders you need to have nation builders that are directly responsible to you sort of like in, in you, you know what i'm saying to be an officer you got to have people up under you you know what i'm saying and to be on a council whether it's a nation elder builder, um elder council nation builder council and if you need to, if we got enough people, a warrior council, if you have councils, council, you have to have at least two nation builders that are responsible to you. And if, in order for a nation builder to be on a council, he has to have at least two warriors that are responsible to him, not just in show, but in actuality. You know what I'm saying? In fact, we had do we had to give. A presentation at the national ask what that's the third conference in la oh family you didn't present to ask cat no you didn't no you didn't uh-uh you know because i mean you know what that means right you did a presentation at a place that is part of the root of this We just had, I mean, we was just, they, they're raising funds for ASCAP right now. You mean to tell me that you were a documented presenter at, a, at something uh, where, hold on, hold on, Navita. You should have told me because I, you know, I ain't, I don't have a phone on. You know, I started running my mouth. So let me go. On. Uh, lines are open. Lines are open to call in and talk to the screaming old man. Brother High Town, that's what they call him. So I will be, uh, Navita, just stay on there for a second. I'll be coming in in about speaker on. 
Till that pop up, you are now listening to Jami Journey. This is the heart of a similar production. We strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. So we have some on the line. Um, Uber conference is just now popping up for me. I thought we was going to school today, so I didn't for any call-ins. I'm, I'm free. Free. I could take calls now. It's about to come up. Oh, she already did. Go ahead, girl. Uh, no, we don't want. To. All right, we'll try the webcam. I'll come in and change it later. All right, for true, our elder who teaches us. Uh, uh, you are the first participant on the call. Matter, Please hold Matt while we wait for the others to join. Calls my presentation, and the presentation was called Math Myoc. Commodics hey, our babies, age eight to twelve. Navita, call back in. What, what happened? Hello? Call back in. For true, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, man. And I remember y'all. I remember y'all class. Go ahead, call in now. I'm there. Was there and some hold? It had to be some hold music because I'm paying for hold music to be on that thing. All right, family. This is Jeremy Journey. I'm Brother Hatim. I'm being joined by Brother Kwame. This call is being recorded. And on the line right now, we have Sister Navita. How are you doing, Miss Navita? I'm doing okay. I need to be getting ready for work, but still, still girl, you still safe. Um, I just wanted to ask you. Yeah, I still got that cough. I still got that cough. You should have been drinking on Ambrosia. Oh, yeah, Brother Kwame the still got it. Y'all, you should have been drinking on the ambrosia. Well, go ahead. I know I need to get me some, but yeah, I wanted to say because you know, back in the day, being a part of Tawi, in order to, you know, participate in assisting with certain um, functions, back in the day, I had to apply for the, you know, I was younger than class, and you know, I was accepted into the nation village class, and then um, I had some personal things that occurred. And I kind of fell off for a couple of years. But, you know, at that time, before then, though, know, I was at every um, first and second Sunday. I participated in all the events. And then I was had my own thing going on, too, where, you know, we was bringing different people. Right, in, I remember that. You know, and then when um, I had a personal thing happening, and I kind of went into this little depression, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, I was saying that to say, now that I'm back, I don't know at 50 if I need to be taking certain classes at this point. That would be my question to become a member of Tawi. Do you have to take like the Nation Builder class or the Rights of Passage class to actually become a member of Tawi? Now, I'm not the one to talk to about that. I'm the wrong one. Mm -hmm. But now there is there is classes and there will be a new group. And um. Uh, there is some talk of uh, uh, updating the system because we got a lot of people that's interested, but then you know there's a lot of there's a lot of things that could get in the way of that as well. You know what I'm saying? Because life life is not playing. And I don't mind taking the nation right. building class. So, I don't know if they would want me to take it at this point. They're too old. Oh, because <laughs> well, no, I got you know I, I, mean? I got to do some stuff too. You know what I'm saying? We all we all we all got we it's 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 like when you look at the the nature of the classes, the classes, and and one of the things that uh, the classes are supposed to be their replacements for how we used to do, do stuff. Rites of passage was a, a process, and and people like rites of passage for kids. No, 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 no. You got different phases of your life. Me and you right now, we're entering. We're not in it, but we're entering. We're in a zone between um, nation builder and elder. Me, you, and Kwame, right. we, we're in that. We're in that nether zone right now. So, 
life presents us with challenges life pre presents us with adventures and this is this was this was what traditionally was the challenge for individuals because you 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 will have to go out and get something to bring it back or or you will have to create something you know what i'm saying because um but now as far as right now from what i know right now there are classes and one of the reasons for the classes that I'm seeing is one to make sure people understand how the village runs, which I agree with. I, I those those classes I want to take, but you know, one of my things when I was younger and Eric and I was like, man, listen, whoever coming with this class better come with some hard and real shit because I'm listen, I'm slaying all suckers. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you know, it's because like I said, I the. the the way I was raised in this community, because like I said, I came, I literally came to manhood in this community. You know what I'm saying? I came to manhood under mm -hmm. his, under his stories. I came to manhood with them. They were still bringing like uh, John Henry Clark here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sitting around this, you know what I'm saying? So if you come, if you're going to teach a class and I've been teaching classes, they brought me up to teach classes. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Kelsey was paying me to teach classes to do what we doing right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, if you're coming with it, you better come. You better come with it hard. Come with it, because I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I'm a little bit more relaxed now. So. But you said they about to come out with a class, so it's oh, probably yeah. for another nation building class, or like a, nation like you were saying, the uh, general, in between us. Because what we need is, we need to really start building the, building up the village. Um. At least from my perspective, we need to start building these tribes, getting it together, and uh, um, also uh, we need to really start working with these kids. So I mean, with, you know with who we got, you know what I'm saying? With who's there right now, they're gonna need some major help because I mean, we're gonna have a lot of kids, a lot of young people coming, especially since people are seeing, uh, since Donald Trump is so disrespectful with with white supremacy, you know what I'm saying? He breaking all the rules mm -hmm. of he breaking all the rules. You know what I'm saying? So people are coming. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's gonna that's a blessing for us. Right now we're back into a golden time, like in a, um 85 to 89, right before uh, mm -hmm. um NWA came out. We're in a beautiful time right now where we're able to people gonna be coming and we have to have work for them to do so that we can keep the foolishness. Right, down. we gotta catch something for them to do. Yeah. Hey, what's up, brother Nupus? And one of the major things that you put up is the you know the projects like you've been coming to the projects you've been helping with that you know how to do that maybe one maybe maybe part of your test will be boom all right cool uh brother kwame gonna need major help with uh uh malcolm x celebration and we want to get about 500 people there you know what i'm saying could you do that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i mean that, a challenge that's how you this is how you get you know what i'm saying because this classroom shit is western style learning we learned on our feet. We even learned mathematics on our damn feet. You know what I'm saying? By doing it, not just not theorizing about it. You can't theorize about. We need to get out of theorizing about our consciousness and and our in our in our culture and get into living and acting on it. At least that's where I'm at. Right. I think they, well, I just want to, you know, if I'm like I said, I'm trying to help out where I can help out. I remember when I used to go to Tawi back in the day, Dr. Kelsey, he told me back then, he said, you got the ability to get people together. And um, you need to stay a part of Tawi and help us with that. But, you know, I ended up, like I said, I fell off for a bit, but I'm back, you know what I mean? Well, like, I, <laughs> and I'm like, right to help wherever I can help, you know what I mean? Like they say, like they, like they tell, like they tell people, you, you never left. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's like you never left. Mm -hmm. You start getting initiated by life, and we need to start recognize that, man. Because like the, the depressions and and these emotional upturns and downturns and stuff like that, these are initiations. We just need to be, we need to be wise enough to recognize it and be like, boom, you, hey, you've been through a lot. You have grown now, collective, so that we can see your growth. Like, for example, for some of us, writing a book would be nothing. Starting shows to make sure that we're spreading the consciousness is nothing. You know, for others, running a weekly mm -hmm. program for young people would be nothing. It's like, yo, 
We need to go and start taking people, people where they are. Look at what they went through. Do you have people to vouch for you? You know what I'm saying? I done seen you. Matter of fact, I done, I done seen you as I done slipped by some, some cultural shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know, I might pick my head in and keep going. I, I done seen you there. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, boom, you said you've been coming regularly to, to some meetings and stuff like that. Boom. Do you have elders that will vouch for you? Do you have other nation builders that will vouch for you? Right now, you sit down with the council of elders and explain some of the shit you went through so that they can start understanding what the ancestors did for you, what they put you through. Um, uh, brother Kwame say, and you need to speak with Elder Alona and Elder Finn. Yeah, those are the ones. I'm just theorizing. I need to state these are Brother Hot Tim's opinions and not the opinions of the Tawi village, because I'm not even in the village as of yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just that Giami man. I got a tribe already. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit. I've been living it. This is what I do. It's like, hey, he's like, yo, I see some elders, because my piece is I seen elders to something for a very long time. Um, stewards or money. Now, the biggest test for us is money and staying out of fuckery. And now, I'm going to say this. As elders, they did a good job on both of them. Now, I don't know all the total inside working about the fuckery, but I do know that every time I come, every time I put a dime in, a dollar or ten, they are able to tell the community how much was collected. And they have, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and year after year, they have been. So I said, boom, oh, shit, I need, I need to bring my tribe with that. I need to, I need to, you know what I'm saying? Because if I don't do any training, I need to be doing some training in Columbus with some individuals that's going to be here for the long term because my children are going to be here. So I need to make sure there's a system established that Gina and Sasha and Cleveland and all of my nieces and nephews at Millennium Community School can plug into and come through. They might not have to leave the city, but they might get a chance to. But just in case we can't leave the city, I need to make sure there's something there so that they can at least be exposed to the culture. Take one out of ten, baby. One out of ten. I'm good. I get, I'm good at getting one out of ten. Oh, you thought somebody was about to steal my car? Thank you for looking out. And so, you know, that's where we are. That is the critical piece. And does, and does have fellow nation builders and elders who will vouch for you. It's like, for example, when Gianna is like, who's your sponsor? See, because being being the older brother, and like, because in Gianna, we have a ranking system that's more of a belt system. It's a... So it's like you got three levels of initiation. You got brother, sister level. You got um, uh, majestic, royal, grand, supreme, grandmaster, supreme master, and the last step is elder and all that shit. To, to, to get through all that, you got years and years of work. But at a certain level, like at royal and uh, majestic, even at majestic, sponsor people in, which means that. That's what, Miss Navita. So you got people to vouch for you. So it's like you know they're gonna be looking out for your progress. They're gonna be looking for your success because if they don't, if you don't pass, that means that there's a failure on their record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you go to the police, it's like them snitching and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like because we got. I mean because. We have to understand we're not playing games because our enemy is not playing games with us. And this is how they do it. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I mean, oh, but you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't get me off into that shit. Why y'all start this? Who started this conversation? Why that goddamn Kwame back there laughing, starting shit? But, um, right. you got anything else, baby? No, that's it. That's it. I just was wanting to get some information, at least the conversation on us. Uh, how to become part of that because I, cause I do want to, you know, Pursuit. continue to uh, assist wherever I need it. You know what I mean? He said, uh, Kwame said, 
that is critical piece. It does have fellow nation builders and elders who will vouch for her. And at one point, I was giving ten dollars a month. Now I am up to thirty dollars a month and giving it to our family. That does not include Tawi and Sedinos. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's like, yo, fam, I mean, like I said, that's tax. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? It, in, in anything that you're giving tax, you are a member of. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's not that's not my act. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Where's the reciprocity in that shit? You know what I'm saying? You got individuals who went through the nation to the training who ain't giving shit. And I know that for a fact. I don't, even, I don't even have to be involved with the process to know that you got motherfuckers that went through the training, completed the training, and ain't gave shit. I say you got, you know, but you know, like I said, life, life is that way. You know what I'm saying? And we have an opportunity to balance it out. That's all I'm saying. We had, a, we had an opportunity to balance it out. All we got to do is be respectful with the council of elders. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because the challenge that they give is the challenge that we smash. Period. Period. So, and, you know, and, and, and with a lot of people, because some people are not going to be able to sit through a, a lot of classes. So those individuals may have to develop the discipline to sit through some of the classes. But then on the other end, we have to come up with a method or a method that has to be developed where they could be, it could be project-based. Because really what we need is we do need project-based um, training, project-based learning, because our people need so much shit that we ain't really got time to be sitting down reading ancient history. I'm not big on ancient history. I like, the, I like it as a tool. I don't like swimming around in ancient shit that don't work right now. It don't. You know what I'm saying? You have to do the same COVID thing. That's all I always tell you. You got to move me. Go you back. Move forward. There you go. Can't be, can't be stuck. And every time the same COVID bird go backwards, he's pulling on something different because the past that he's reaching back into is different than the past he was reaching back into before. You, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for example, hip-hop. Hip-hop is saying, see, check this out. This is what a lot of my elders didn't understand. Hip hop is Sankofa. If you look at every aspect of hip hop, you see Sankofa all up and down through that. The ancestors worked their magic and gave us gave us hip hop, but we allowed these motherfuckers to take it and corrupt this shit. All the music that we grew up on is the music that hip hop used. They went back and got the old music and used it today. And that's where the cuts and all that shit come from. Look at the dance moves. The dance moves, they went back in history and found warrior moves and found moves that people was doing from old dances and brought it back. You look at the graffiti, what they do? They, they went back and fetched it. They do it hieroglyphs. Our ancestors are working miracles for us. And we are the generation that that's the, that, that shit that, that, that it chose to come through. We are the generation that it chose to come through. And it's like, really, hip-hop is the major reason that I got involved with the culture in the first place. Susan Bradford uh, Kuta, how the dance of the day came out of the dance of the past in Africa. And that's the point that I'm saying. Wow. That's, that's the point I'm saying. It ain't just it ain't just that. Like, for example, man, if you, if you stay on um, um, Google long enough, you'll hear raps from the 1930s. I got Google Music. I ran across motherfuckers rapping in the 30s. This is not, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is, this is nothing. Nothing is new. Of the old. All of this is old. You know what I'm saying? Of the old. All of it. That's why I say with the stories, it's just a rehash of the old. All we got to do is update it. Period. What does the village need? Let me learn. The, the, the politics of the village. Let me learn the rules of the village. Now, what does the village need? Now, as a warrior on your hero journey, or a nation builder on your hero journey, you need to get this. This is your mission. Complete your mission. Succeed or die. Sink or swim. It's on you. 
It's on you and your team, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Gianni, like I constantly tell us, as the story that I gave my young boys, well, not even young, but all everybody doesn't do, I give them the story, make it happen. It's about a it's about a uh 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 a traveling teacher that everybody heard about and wanted to become a student of. And when you become a student of his, he only gave you one task. He said, whatever I ask you to do, you 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 need to make it happen. And you need to make it happen within the seven principles that he gave. And he said, true justice, you got to be, you got to be true. It has to be in truth, you have to be just. You have to be righteous. You know what I'm saying? You have to be aware of reciprocity. You got to be balanced. It has to be in order. And you need you need to promote harmony. Other than that, make it happen. Within those rules, make it happen. And boom. And so now, it's a joke in my crew. and really ain't even a joke. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking around with you. Make it happen. We show five thousand dollars to take these kids. Make it happen. They got no joke. Don't come to me with it. Make it happen. All right. Thank you for the information. Make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And all these kids need to be on the bus when we pull it off. Make it happen. And I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen it several times. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, the, we we are amazing people, and all we need to do is to have goals. All we have to do is have challenges. And it ain't nothing like a challenge to get the blood, to get the blood pumping and keep you nice and young. You know what I'm saying? Our business need a complete, successful amount of next celebration. I agree. So you saying make it happen? We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. All right, hey, but yo, I have to use the bathroom. I am busting at the seams. I got 32 ounces. <laughs> Uh, P ready to come up out of me, and I want to thank everybody. I want to let y'all know you are now listening to Giami. As a matter of fact, this is what I do. Just in case, if I come back, some people still here. Cool. If not, cool. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some nice, uh, some nice music from from a local artist. Uh, my daughters love this song, so I'm gonna play that real quick. <laughs> Honoring those who made the sacrifice, those who died, those who rose by deep in the Atlantic Ocean, those ancestors stolen from the motherland and taken to another land. We honor you, I say, I say. We honor those freedom fighters like Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King. Mary Bethune, Nat Turner, and the thousands of others who fought, who bled, who died. I say, I say, we are those, the unknown warriors, whose names we don't know, who fought, who bled and died. For freedom, as we pour and we say, I say, I say, we are the unborn children who will continue the legacy of sacrifice, who will fight in honor of those who fought the fight. I say, I say. Thank <laughs> you. 
your mind. Take the time to not them. Go to God the Father. I get up. Stand up. I say, I say, I say, I say. Chain is broke. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. And you see it on the floor? All right, I find it. Man, all right, family. So, um, any other comments, any other discussions that y'all want to have? You know what I'm saying? Any questions I can I, I can answer? I can feel right on some other ones I can answer. Somebody just somebody just do a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Who is that? Let's see who that is. That's whack. Why they got like viewers? But I'm on show, baby. Man, all right, baby. So, uh, any, any other comments, any other discussions that y'all want to have? You know what I'm saying? Any questions I, I, I can answer? Oh, For the first time in my life, I am silenced. Where the fuck is that coming from? Excuse my language. I know it's early in the morning for some of y'all. In the morning. Get some... I don't know where that's coming from. I got some type of blowback. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Maybe it's because I did this on Spreaker. I don't know. It is. It's because you press it All right, family. I think I done burnt my computer up. And I am. Well, hold on. I want everything to check. Let's. Just... All right, boom. Something playing on my hoop suite. So I just took hoop suite down. So that's just take care of that. All right. Uh, recall when you asked me where my wedding ring was? Well, <laughs> you didn't have a wedding ring. no, he 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 had a Jammy wedding ring. I got the Jammy necklace. You know what I'm saying? That was like my wedding thing, though. Know, but um, look on that. Look, don't get comfortable there. Look over there for my stuff. And, and 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 oh, by the way, just just a little health tip, right? Let's say you can't get that ambrosia, right? Get some green tea, some quality green tea. You don't have to be quiet, just some good green tea. Get some distilled water or spring water. Any water but sink water. 
A lot of tea bags are soaked. Either you can boil it or you can let the sea tea bags in for a couple of days. Right? Ah, cool. Get a break. Nope, it didn't break. It might fall off. All right, cool. So now, you take tea bags out, you take raw honey, you drink some, and you seal it up. Don't put it in the refrigerator, seal it up. And just watch as it starts to change because it's pretty close to ambrosia. Because actually, when you look at the concept of ambrosia, ambrosia is the in some form of fashion the first scoby came from green tea fermenting now what happens when the green tea starts to ferment what happens is that certain bacteria and yeast are released and made easier for your body to to pull us pull all of the nutrients and all of the clean properties out a little curse is not a, such a bad thing see that's why you my Pisces brother. They don't understand that. That's that that's that old soul spot Pisces shit. Nobody really understand that, right? You know, and you just let it, you just let it go. Right? Same thing with any other tea. As long as you got, if you got raw honey, I actually, even sugar, but I don't suggest sugar. But the, the bacteria and the yeast feast on the sweets. Right, they 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 live off the sweets, sort of like being in a ghetto. Uh, I haven't looked into the shrubs yet, but I've seen it; it's posted up. Um, but then I'm trying to see because wood would be considered shrubs. I'm gonna have to learn about some of these plants out here because I'm quite sure they're the the the, the healing that are the healing of the nation is in the herbs. I'm, I know some of you out there smoking, looking at me, giggling and shit. Listen, I'm not talking about that herb. I'm talking about the herbs. Herbs out there, outside right now, that's going to be pushing up right after the snow melt. The herbs, yeah. All right, family. This is Brother Tim. I need to let you know you are now listening to Giami. Yo. I mean, Johnny Journey. This is a heart of a simple production. We have just done the daily toast. We talked about the village. We talked about manhood. We read from Amos Wilson. We did the libations. We talked about school being closed. Chill. <laughs> You gotta say that louder, baby. Well, we tried to bust the old paradigm. As my baby said, <laughs> the time for the morning when my daughters are up and they're hungry. You know, and they're hungry, so I'm gonna have to go feed them. He said, Mama Connie would know. I don't understand. It's not such a bad thing, Mama Connie would know. Okay. No. Yeah, I know about the stretch. All right, so, all right, family, I am out. Peace. Stay in the fight.